Well, mm. episode 10 of this season 4 Let's Play. You can see I am <laughs> slowly going up inside of this uh, boat. Oh, that hurt a little. Uh, because we are using... Yep. Whoa. It's a little hard to control, frankly. Yep. Okay, uh, where's the boat? There. Okay, I don't, th I don't think it won't uh, have any problem. As you saw, uh, it's like the old... Ah. Let's try to... It's like the old... Uh, you can use wat uh, water as a boat uh, elevator. It's still working. I surrender. Let's see, where's my electric jetpack? I think I will have to try and make something regarding the auto charge option in here. Anyway, you might remember this courtyard. <coughs> I show it before to you. Incidentally, I w should be in here. And, well, it's pretty funny, it's pretty interesting, it's filled with spawners. Ha ha ha. Yay! Spawners. Mob spawners. And, uh, besides that, well... Eh, let's uh, clean it. Uh, once we have marked one of the soul shards, we can... Go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, what are you exactly? Zombies. Could you spawn, please? You can always always go to the area. Uh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. So, as I was telling you, we are cleaning this a little, but this checkered floor mm, makes me nervous. I mean, okay, I cleaned this. Whoa, hello, fella. I cleaned that uh, that part there. It was all nice, all clean, all great, but I'm still hearing noises. So what's going on? Well, this is sand, that's for sure. And is if we go up here. Uh, I forgot I had my jetpack on. You can see we uh, this is kept like so with well gravity falling uh, items, blocks, whatever. So let's go ahead and break it. Oh look, something went down. It's pretty interesting that that water went down too. And there's another skeleton in there who shouldn't have uh, spawned. I mean, it, oh well, of course, uh, unless we consider that this is pretty, pretty dark. And this is one of the nicest of uh, the Maglite spell. You can throw the light spell to wherever you want. Now, Depending on the origin of this floating castle... Whoa! This one's new. That was a triad or something. Uh, as I was telling you, depending on the origin of this castle, I will be worrying more or less about... Uh, well, oh, another stair in there. Mm. Let's get up. Ah, of course. We see the courtyard in there and several skeletons. Well, as I was telling you, uh, depending on who plays this... Uh, okay, who plays this building in here, I will worry or not. In this case, I will worry because Thumbcraft 
or Ars Magica won't be placing it. And we have a spider spawner marked. Yay! So we just watch uh, a gravity trap of some sort working. And uh, if I check on my notes, so to speak, we can consider that uh, what works with uh, with those the I mean the gravity traps are the places added into the map by the trap system uh, well system I mean um, the ruins mod okay this is placed perfect this is still going up so I suppose it was just a suffocating trap nothing really all that uh, elaborated but I am going to stay on here and I'm going to try and do something foolish whoa die you are a little yeah I am hearing noises so these are goals hey look water what is water to do when you are talking about gravity well a spawning trap as you can see down there there are some disgusting mobs down there pretty adamant about uh, doing something bad with me oh look spawner in there whoa haha <laughs> shift it's not all that great okay so were you skeleton yes and you were yet perfect and look what we found in here some blocks uh, of course when we when we hit the gold I mean the diamond one we go into here and we get inside of some sort of place that might not be friendly at all so let's see the throne room was a trap considering the, uh, the ruins mod and down there mobs, monsters, problems ah, no, it was just the exit with lots and lots of, of mods uh, of problems now let's see, can I get inside of without any kind of trouble mm, might need some extra help ah yeah I mean I'm having frame rate problems in here hello Mr. Zombie I'm sorry but you have to die so I can eat peacefully some pie okay I don't have any pie but you take my meaning Spiders are something I am not going to kill for now. Uh, creepers, Enderman, that's all I need. So this goes in here, and let me grab my Ender pouch. Yay! So I can do this. Well, at least we got uh, some minimum shards. That's always nice. And yes, I know I should uh, change my electric jetpack for the rest. Anyway, I will recover my boat and keep exploring. You can see the the, the castle is very nicely done from the inside. It just has this little problem of monsters spawning and expelling you through his center into a moth trap of sorts. 
will you? No, you won't. And to the east we go, you can see there are some submerged ruins. Again, they are from the ruins mod, so they bear no importance for our Ars Magica quest. You can see we have here a uh, rest power to volcano. Oh look, we could place a refinery in here pretty easily if we wanted to. Incidentally, I am aware that the latest version of Ender Storage gives you uh, directly a direct way to move liquids between something akin to the Ender Chest but devoted to liquids. Sadly, I've tried to update this map to the new version and I was unable to. The best thing I did was to get to use the... Um, uh, let me see if I can... yeah... Did I got it? Yes, perfect. Was to use the config files of the latest version of Ars Magica, which was released a, a few days ago, and change the uh, with the item ID changes changes change, uh, and the it also changed the the entity IDs. So I had to use creative mode to spawn my spells again, uh, my spell books. Uh, for, but fortunately, I didn't lose my progress in regards of discovering which spells and the like. It seems like, well, they are stored into something that doesn't require you to be much, uh, I don't know, aware? No. Worried about item ID options. However, I, while I tried to update the map, I got uh, a weird book with chicken chunks. Even if I lo load this map, then dis with the with the mod disabled, then save a copy, try to place it, etc. The usual stuff we tried to do, which was unsuccessful. And this is a marsh biome from the extra XL bio, uh, well, biomes, and it is placed in some sort of line instead of a very big uh, place. You can go jumping from from one place to another. I mean, it's just a long line of uh, well. Place. Uh, it's lands place like so. I mean, nothing really fancy here going on, unless we count that oil spawn. These uh, two volcanoes. This is very small, frankly. But uh, the pretty interesting thing is, uh, you can create, or at least you were able to create, an age in Mistcraft like uh, who was like this. It wasn't very useful. I tried to play on it. It was uh, kind of nightmarish regarding several different stuff, and I was wondering what was going, what was wrong with this. Oh gosh! Seems like our terrain generation had some troubles here. I mean, yeah, <laughs> pretty awesome. Oh gosh! I mean, it's like the the balloon on the on the top. Just uh, well, took up this all this thing. Uh, you might know or might not that uh, rest power to volcanoes have a central chimney, which is this, and it's filled with lava, lava source blocks, and the rest, well, is all around it. So it's pretty funny to find this that, this way. And I was looking. Yeah, there are, there are two blocks. One is in here. Yep. Life drain. Not very interested, but I could find it useful. And the other one was around. 
yep, here. Water breathing. Uh, this one's interesting. Incidentally, incidentally, in the latest version of um, Ars Magica that I have downloaded, it's 503 something, I believe. Uh, the spells are a little... I don't know what's, uh, what the word would be. Uh, well, a new spell was added to start with, and then... Uh, Hell, I don't know. Ah, yes, the spell creation process was further refined, so we don't have only one or two uh, creation of those spells. I mean, if we go for journals, I believe, for day, there are some more now. Now look, here's the spell recipe, the spell parchment. Mm. It is a little sad that there's no way to, I mean, to to get your hands on spell recipes if you're playing a map that, what, yeah, yeah, see, they are here, creation of mirrors. Uh, I mean, if I'm playing on a pre-generated world that won't let Ars Magica to spawn anything, not to mention, for example, if you're on a server and uh, you are on a power budget, so you can't uh, go very far away to find new spells, well, you have this little problem of uh, not getting spells. And uh, there's no way to randomly generate them. Just It's just the reason, anyway, to do that. And I am on a strange biome. That, well, this is a beach, after all. And there's fear saplings. I don't know why the fear saplings are always getting into my hands. Oh look, another small ruin. Some... Well, I suppose I could uh, skin those ships since I'm here. Try I tried incidentally to enchant the soul sh the ch the uh, this the shears, but I was not successful. Uh, at least in the options I had to apply. So, I decided not to. Just like so. Uh, yeah, the magnet mode is on. Ah, I am filled with stuff in here. Okay. So, let me dispose of these things and I will be right back to you. Okay. All clean, or at least a little less cluttered. I'm on a mountain ridge. Ouch. Whoa, that was pretty rebounding. I'm on a mountain ridge, as I told you, and incidentally, the dig spell works. Yay! So we keep our search of Ars Magica items. I'd very much like to get my hands on the fly spell, you know. Oh, great! We got one of these. Perfect. And I believe we have here some clay, don't we? Nope. We don't have any clay in here. Anyway, this works, so let me see. If I go into... No, I can't. But I can do this. Well, at least if they are... I mean, uh, haha, and I can apply that to leaves too. I doubt I will be getting any sapling this way anyway. But that was interesting to know. So you can see the silver wood can be uh, gathered with with the, the dick spell from from Ars Magica, as any other wood. Incidentally, I already tried it with other woods and it all works. So it's it's great, I suppose. Uh, oh, look. And I need to keep looking for interesting stuff. Oh, look, there's a, pl a plains uh, biome that way. That's the one I really like to well, uh, not really. I mean, I like to build in a plains, but because it's, well, plain. If I had to, 
mm, it's just, it's just, uh, but it has the same trouble we get into the um, into the into the wasteland biome. I mean, if you want to build, I believe the best uh, the best biome is the plains, the vanilla plains, or the um, what was the name? The uh, 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 um, I can't remember. Problem with the with these fellas is that they simply, well, while they are plain and you can build very easily, you have the problem of uh, well, the bees are the problem, or the, the, you run you run into problem with the bees because. Let me place the spider in here. Yeah, because essentially, well, the bees are going to say we are on a on a biome that we don't really like, and this is a wall. Hmm. Yeah, a diamond on there. Okay. Let me prepare before going down. Okay, I am almost ready. So, we have here a well that goes downstairs and has a diamond on there. Mm, pretty interesting. If not for the fact that I already ran into a ruins uh, spawned well, and that was that didn't end very well at all. So, what should we do? Well, first, I am going to shoot a light on there. Perfect. Now I'm going to ready, ready my dig spell, and I'm going down. Okay, we are here. So there are these two water source hmm, that I am going to block because I don't trust. Let me say on top of a non-gravity uh, dependent block. Thank you. Perfect. So. Ah ha ha! Look at this. There's more hole in there. Hmm. There's an even bigger hole in there. So it was just uh, you will fall to your death trap. Yep. See, there's here some torches, and once you break them, well, you lose some balance. Yeah, just like so. Nothing terribly fancy, you're just trapped in here with a diamond that will if you will serve you nothing. And down to this hole. Okay, so we have here some sort of space. Uh, torches to avoid spawning of mobs. Mm, I suppose you are trapped in here? Well, you should, in theory. But since I have other ways to getting out, I am not trapped in the bottom of the wall. Mm. As far as these uh, kind of traps go, this one's not all that impressive. I mean, others were very much impressive. And you, my friends, are a dark mage, aren't you? Hmm. Well, I have nothing against you for now. Oh, of course, there's a cave in here, that's why it was so... so-so. And you can see here, besides having a skeleton and a mana elemental in there, I'm not sure if I can trap their souls, but we have here an interesting place. I mean, this is some sort of digging hole, but once we clear it, there's nothing behind it. I mean, it's just a normal mineshaft or decorative system. Well, let me go for a much faster digging mechanic. Yep, nothing to do here. Okay, let's get out. So, you see, it was uh, quite the new option. Um, Whoa, that was a creeper. And I am being attacked 
by this fella here. Yeah, can't test uh, the th that theory. Oh, there are two of them and a spider, and so I am being overwhelmed. Uh, I suppose I should do something, like flying away. Okay. For now, at least. Okay. You're attacking at range, by the way. So we have here this little... whatever this is. Hmm. Incidentally, I believe... No, lights won't work underwater. But we can go with Dick, uh, lower case, and if we do this, I can get in there and breathe a little, just in case. And since we have the electric jetpack, getting out will be very fast. Very fast indeed. Hmm, Shychlorium. It's always nice to have. And I don't know where this will end. Oh, that's... Isn't that Bintium? No, it's not Bintium. Or I don't have the slightest idea of where I am. Ah, uh, here we are. Mm, bedrock. So it was like a well going down up to Bedrock? Strange. Very. And since I'm having some issues with space, I'm going to storage this, all this stuff in here. Just to, well, have some extra space. I can place any canvas back inside one another, but I can certainly place them inside of the ender chest and get some extra slots. Now, in this way, I believe I saw more ruins, yeah. But they are normal ones, without any kind of surprise or the like. Uh, there's a big oil source in there. Yes, oil. Very, very large amount of oil. And we are entering some sort of... What's this? A mining jungle. Not a proper jungle, I see, but... A, mi a minuscule version of a jungle. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get out of here soon. By the way, it is very important that you pay attention to your surroundings when you are inside of a mini jungle. Mm, nah, for nothing special, just there's some quick sounds in here, and if you saw my uh, moth grinder about uh, Enderman back at home. Well, you know it's not very helpful helpful uh, to fall there. And in this direction, besides moths, I believe there are some interesting spawns. Ah, no. A very big, very, very big uh, oils well. Should I mark it? No, I'm not using oil anyway, but... Whoa! Hmm, funny. Well, I, I'll mark it anyway. Uh, green for resources. Big oil well. Uh, in case you don't know, the the oil wells for from Buildcraft, well, the bigger, the, the higher they are, the deeper they run. So this one... Very, very, <coughs> uh, sorry, very big indeed. Oh gosh, I don't know what the hell just uh, got inside of my nose, but it was uh, pretty hard. Anyway, let's get up of this hill. Yeah, some craft spawn in place. Some factorization items, some... Uh, some extra locks and the like. And, well, nothing else we can do in there, I suppose. Remember, those are uh, very bad. Well, there are some flax in there, but I believe there's some sort of whip spawner in there or something. And let me see. Let's see. Well, 
well, it doesn't seem like this platform has anything under it. So I suppose uh, there's nothing. Oh yeah, ha ha ha. There's that's a wisp spawner. That explains a lot. I mean, on the top we have a very normal spawner, and let me ochi, ochi, ochi. Let me graph uh, and use soul shard pretty quick before killing this fella. Oh, hello. Burn a little. Yeah, perfect. And now the soul shard says, nope, you can't. So this fellas contain one of these behind, but sadly there's nothing we can do about it because soul shards are not going to work with uh, with not vanilla moths, or so it seems. Anyway, let's uh, unclutter this a little, and well, I believe this is a is a very good wrapping up point once I show you something interesting in here. Well, you can see this is a pretty decent world. There's some uh, some gold in there, but see, here we have some trouble. And if we go down there, you can see that it's illuminated. Uh, it actually inter intersects a cave. But this is not a problem. See, lava. There's lava in there, and these these are falling. Uh, well. Items suggest subjected to falling. So uh, I've found this is a trap. See, oops. So let's see. If I mine this, you can see this hole gets in. All this, uh, well, as you saw, we got all this little problem where all the stairs get uh, dropped and uh, the, well since uh, we can get out on our own uh, well it's, it's okay but if not we would be on the bottom of a well with the dro with lava dropping and that would be bad i mean Imagine lava drops and you can't get out, uh, you're going to have a problem. Oh look, two white mages. Hello. How are you? Oh, pretty nice. Hello. How are you doing? They will support me and help me if I run into trouble. Like this. Mana creeper! Who just uh, blow itself up without uh, much trouble. Anyway, I believe this is a good wrapping up point for episode 10 and I might try to find something else, but I doubt I will find anything of interest, at least for now. I will try... Hey, look, a hut. Perfect. It says there's a skeleton on top of it, but, well, you can't be too picky when you are being surrounded by... Oh! Well, there's two trees in there, a snowy biome, maybe even a village in there, and some ruins in there. So I'll check them and get back to you in the next episode, which, well, I will release shortly. Please remember that uh, I have a new series being uh, released in the channel. Uh, it's uh, about mod spotlight, but in Spanish. So if you are uh, fluent with Spanish, Please have a look at it. I am uh, making some mod spotlights and small set of uh, tutorials. And the first episode is about uh, the Soul Shards mod and how to set up a farm to get you experience points all the time using some craft, computer craft, and uh, so the Soul Shards mod and some Red Power too. It's essentially the same thing I have for my Wither Skeletons uh, farming system, so nothing too fancy, you won't be missing much if you don't go and have a look at it. Yep, there's a village in there. We'll, we'll have a look at it later. And uh, there's an Enderman 
trying to get me. Oh gosh, where are you? Anyway, thanks for watching. See you around. And remember, people, to have fun. Bye.